JP, I'm gonna rattle off some quick styles. I want to hear them right now. Play me some jazz. Mm. Bust out a funk groove for me. Right. How about a bad, bad prog groove for it me? It has to be bad? Real bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Okay, there we go. That's three crazy different styles played by one drummer today, the amazing J.P. Bouvet. On this episode of The Drum Department, we're gonna challenge J.P. to play one song, one drummer, five different styles, and much more all today, starting right now on The Drum Department! It's good to have you back, Kyle. Thanks, man. It's good to have you back, and it's good to have you here, JP. It's a yeah. pleasure. Yeah, welcome. How have you been? Real good, real good, real good. Can't complain. I had, uh, we had you, we had you, what was it, like six years ago? Something like that, yeah, with my band. With your band, Childish Shapes. Yeah. We have a new album coming out, you were saying. We have a new album coming out. Very yeah. cool. It is 2023, August 18th. In this year, there so it it's is. Like, it's wow. like next week almost. Yeah, it's really, it's here. Let's get the plug out of the way. What's it called? It's called Matters of Life and Death. Part one. It's two albums. Actually, the first one's coming out now. Um, we. This has been one of my favorite musical experiences to date. We went up to a cabin during COVID. My band features different artists on every album. We went up to a cabin in the mountains in Pennsylvania twice, and music just flowed out of all of us faster than I've ever seen it happen. No. I way. think the first day we we wrote like four or five songs and demoed them out and stuff. Um, with this singer, Joanna Teeter. So we feature different people. This one is with this incredible singer and a good friend of mine, Joanna. Anyways, it's a lot of what we consider good songs. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of heart and, and real um, real parts of our story in there. As a lot of people were going through some hard stuff then. So uh, yeah, sure. no I'm kidding. excited about it. That's August 18th. Mm -hmm. Childish Japes. Childish Japes. And where can we get it? Anywhere? It'll be wherever you stream music. Love it. Yeah, yeah. So Napster, Torrents. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Do people still do Lime Wire. Things? Yeah, Lime Wire. I don't remember that one. Check out Lime our MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, They're squeezing the limes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to have some fun because drumming is like a lot of musical pursuits. There's a million ways you can approach something. You can learn a style, like say maybe you're a fan of Phil Rudd and you want to play like Phil Rudd. Mm -hmm. Phil Rudd's got a very distinct style. Or maybe you want to get into Steve Gadd, or maybe you want to get into Steve Jordan, or maybe you want to get into Steve Smith. You want to do all of the Steves, Ooh, maybe, right? Cover but the gamut. there's so many things you can do on the instrument. And one of the most fun things is to sort of explore and try different styles. Because drumming being the heartbeat of the music, what you put in in that heartbeat can totally affect how we take that music in, what oh, it does yeah. to us emotionally. It could change everything. It's crazy. The drummer has so much power. And you are the king of improv. You have the Oof. most power. Oof. Yeah, you're you're pre, you're, pre, you're pretty creative on behind the kit. I don't know if I can accept that title, but uh, I like improvising. We'll go there. We'll so, go there at the very least. <laughs> actually, okay. So let's that segues beautifully. What have you just spent the past few years working on? <sighs> My past few years. Well, actually, as I'm as I'm just thinking about this before I answer your question, I didn't yeah. even think about this, but the band Childish Japes. The whole reason I started it was to create a musical sandbox where we could veer between genres oh, radically. That. So if you no look through kidding. our catalog, it's like their second album is basically an indie rock album, like Radiohead meets Jeff Buckley or something. Mm -hmm. The third album is a contemporary jazz album with sax and piano. And this fourth album is like kind of R&B Americana kind of thing. Super cool. So that's yeah. always been a big part of my life. But as far as what I've been up to, um, you know, the band's making music. We were making music over uh, over the COVID era. I went back to school and got an undergraduate degree in psychology, which was no really doubt. personally rewarding um, in a lot of ways and has sort of leaked in very uh, diffuse ways into my teaching. Over that same period, I've really dug deeper into the niche that I teach in, which is improv and creativity. Um, and as someone who's always played a lot of different genres, I'm always excited to find approaches to improv that are generalizable, right? So the same way of thinking can be your, if you're a punk rock drummer, a metal drummer, a jazz drummer, the same things can unlock that creativity. 
Mm. And that's been the, the stuff I've been developing and just seeing, you know, my students succeed in a way that I never have before, and it's really exciting. That's super cool. Now, you, I, but correct me if I'm wrong, you have a book coming out on this as well, yes? Uh, the book is in the works, yes, on drumming. Uh, this will be the first time I mention it publicly, but yeah, there's a book that's 80% done called On Drumming, The Psychology and Philosophy of Improvisation. Wow. And it's basically a, a Psychology 101 book uh, as it pertains to the drums in general and also particularly learning to improvise. Cool. So it's like basic hmm. site concepts that are really interesting. And I think them being interesting is enough, but I think it helps with a perspective change often that is also helpful technically with the learning process. Boy. I love that. This dovetails so beautifully. I know, we're gonna see if the, your book is worthy of picking up <laughs> okay. once we spin the wheel of genres. The book, sounds like, <laughs> the book sounds like it's an amazing piece of work, which I'm very excited to check out. Yeah. We're about to do the cartoon version of that. Okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> which means, John, get ready for it. It's time for the challenge. That was the best timing oh, for a so splash. so good. Jay, we've had problems with our splash. Yeah. Our timing just doesn't align, but that was it, man. That's it. Yeah. That was We're it. having a little dance, and it was like we're perfectly <laughs> aligned. Boom. Okay, so today's challenge, this is going to take some time, so I want to get right into it. We're gonna, we've got a track prepared for you. It is a relatively neutral style. Uh, it's hard to find something that's completely neutral. It would probably yeah, just really. be a cowbell, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> so we have a track, a couple of little excerpt here, some things to play over, uh, but we're going to... Spin the wheel of styles. Can we get a good shot of the wheel of styles here? Dave, oh, okay. I'm going to give you the task, the important task here, okay, okay. of being the spinner of the style. Now, of course, uh, we will remove styles. Ah! Okay, well, just keep going, guys. Let's just keep going. Not it's, it's good. live. It's live. live. Yeah, you know. uh, so we're going to find out what the first style. We paid good money for this wheel. Yeah, <laughs> not the light. But the Not wheel. The light. The, the light, yeah. Not the light. <laughs> the light was expensive, but the wheel is uh, $10. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to spin. Spin. All right, here we go. Come on, big money, no whammy. Come on. Latin. Ah, perfect. We're starting off with a starting banger. Starting off with Latin. So uh, that's all we're going to preface this with. We're going to play the track, and you're going to play to it in what you deem is the most appropriate Latin way to play this track. Okay, great. Here we go. Fake it till you make it, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> awesome. Right now, that was my favorite. That's so good. <laughs> well done. It's hard to know whether to try to stick to like, let me play traditional stuff or like throw a China in because the track really wants you to throw a China in. Yes. <laughs> and the no samba band is gonna. You but know, the wheel told you that. The, the wheel <laughs> told me. The wheel told me. I gotta go with the wheel. I love the samba approach you took. Yeah, I mean, Latin grooves are one of the things that I feel. Uh, uh, I only know, I never did deep dives into the authentic versions of those. My approach mm. with Latin grooves as far as like, you know, the learning process was always like, okay, I can do the 101 stuff. Also, I'm did not getting called for a Samba gig. Right, so, sure. So what do I extract from this that is, you know, useful in, in the types of music that I'm actually doing or whatever it might be? Yeah. That was always my approach, you know? But I think that's really the key for most of us, though. It's, it's like get enough out of at least as much of the vocabulary as you can understand and know how to apply it usefully. 100%. I think that the, yeah. the sort of one-on-one grooves, 
they're not quite, they're not an arrival point. I think yeah. of them as like a, a place yeah. to get to so that you understand what's going on. So then you can say, okay, what can I do here that, that is useful for me or just generally useful? Because you might, you know, what's going to be great in yeah. today, this episode, is how much overlap there is everywhere. It's the mm-hmm. same melodies, it's the same rudiments, it's, true. it's the same everything, but you mm-hmm. make stylistic changes yeah. and some pattern changes, dynamic changes, mm-hmm. um, but a lot, a lot of the underlying materials kind of the same all the, a lot of the time. Well, yeah, and it's the flavor you put even on your fills and your transitions there. Because, yeah, you can play a, a samba groove that, you know, maybe it's a common samba groove. But then it's when you actually transition, to th- that's where the real creativity comes in, right? Right, and yeah. stylistically, in a lot of Latin music, it's, uh, it's loose, right? It's... It's not, uh, the focus isn't precision on the grid often, especially in those fill moments. Yeah. And that's what gives it, you know, the human touch. I think that's what made that really work with that track, though. Because that track really, I think if we were all to sit here and decide what we thought might work for that, it's probably a really clean, precise drum part. 100%. Whereas yeah. that is kind of going, no, no, this could be a little yeah. bit more organic. Yeah. I think that's well, this, great. This is a Kaz track, too, right? Yeah, it is a Kaz track, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, he knew what he yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we have a bass line. We have one heck of a bass line. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, let's spin the wheel and see, all right, see what the wheel says is next. So if it's Latin again, we obviously re-spin. We re-spin. And yeah. also, for those wondering, this is not up. I thought, like, what kind of style is <laughs> Oh, up? that's fair. Yeah. That's JP, so it's your own choice. Yeah. Right. All right, here we go. Tempo jazz? Yeah, okay, cool. Tempo jazz. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's always the choice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> prog rock. Prog rock. Oh, prog Whatever rock. that means. Are we thinking Neil Peart prog rock or I, animals as leaders prog I, rock? Well, I think oh. it means what it means to you. All We're right. asking you. <laughs> okay, we'll do some, with some grooving and then... We'll do some solo. So here we have a whole new approach to the same track. This is JP Bouvet, Prague Rock. Here we go. Exposing that I have not no, been playing double dude. bass for a few years here. <laughs> you gotta fool me, man. You would have fooled me. That's fantastic. It was the art of that exploration that I was loving there because you just kept kind of like, this could work. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm into this now. Yeah. And there was certainly a couple of moments, a couple of motifs. If we if did a real deep dive, I'm not going to go super nerdy here, but there was a couple of things. Where I'm like, actually, that's not un- unsimilar to what you played before, phrasing wise. Totally. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Different way of playing it, though. And a lot of the same musical tools, right? Like, take one, like a, uh, a sort of cadence to a section. Like, I was thinking like a punctuation mark. Yes. Mm-hmm. I know in the samba thing, I was thinking. Big four, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. same thing in, in prog world. You're playing some super complicated, intricate thing. It's nice to give people like a, Psh! okay, like, <laughs> and we're back. Is that how you think about your groove creation when you're looking at songs? It's one tool. It's one tool, definitely. Um, yeah. Some parallels with the way we speak, for sure, as far as like punctuating, cadencing, and then just I think the cadence idea is actually more parallel to just like musical tools in general. Right. Yeah. Like, what do, you, what do songwriters do? Like, one of my favorite examples is in a lot of, like, super pop stuff, like Katy Perry tunes and stuff, after the chorus, just to give, like, a breath 
mm. literal breath before the verse begins. They'll just add two bars. Mm -hmm. So it's not a square part of the form, really. Mm -hmm. And you can do that in your drumming, too. And it's surprising if you do it with enough conviction, even though it's an, sort of a weird number to tag on. Yeah. If you make it really obvious that it's a separate thing, and then you go back into the next section, it has a really nice effect, right? That kind of stuff. Super cool. I love that. I love that. Space approach. is just it, it, space is actually a very bold musical choice for a drummer. One hundred percent. It's the hardest one to make. One hundred percent. We also had to make that decision more in the next example. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, we, we should put on there just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're hired. You can yeah. play nine notes. All right, yeah. spin it again, Dave. Right, Let's see what go. happens. Here we go. Come on, wheel. Big money. Big money. Big, big money. money. Jamie! Well, are, do, does he get? A, does he have to tell us what he's? I think choosing? he does. Yeah. Right, what are you gonna do? I gotta tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna feel it out. Okay. I like that. I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna not worry about thinking about other styles. Yeah. Stylistic. No producers in the this room. This is you choosing whatever comes to your mind normally. Yeah. Yes, I'm messing around. You know. All right. All right. Here we go. This is JP style. Everybody, check it out. I don't know if we're going to beat that one. Oh. Hey, you had a little bit of everything in there. It had a little bit of prog come back in. I love It's hard your... on this track not to not to play hard. It wants to be epic. <laughs> well, it's a mean? jazz track. I know, I know. Four drummers, it I seems know. like, at least. But uh, yeah, well done. Thanks. I love your phrasing choices, though. You're making, like, like bold choices. They're Thank really, you. really cool. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, well, let's spin the wheel again. I know, you're just addicted. Uh, to, Dave's just... addicted to spinning the wheel. Spin it. I'm impressed so far that the wheel has given us three different choices. Yeah, no kidding. It's not yeah, like yeah, a large so, number of odds on this know, wheel. Right? Well, now that you've jinxed it, you know, you called it out to the universe, and now <sighs> the universe is going to give Let's us another JP. Here we go. You're right. I probably did jinx it. Keep going, baby. Oh, of course, prog. Ah, oh ah, no, I we, think you mean. We re ah, I think we re you mean metal. There you sure, go. Metal. Yeah. Here we go. Metal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's what uh, uh, Prague's older brother. I metal? would think of it that way too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Brutal, brutal, er. Yeah. Less fancy. Less syncopation. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't put gent on. Okay. At least no, we didn't do that. We did not yeah. put. We didn't gent. offend anyone with that one. We didn't offend anyone with that. All right. Uh, there's some great comments in the chat too. There's been some great, like, just little moments. People <laughs> have been grabbing. There's one Phil you play like, oh, it reminds me of Phil Collins, and another one's Neil Peart. So it's really cool. The beginning of the Prague Rock one, I was totally. Whenever I think of Prague rock i think of like, like a bunch of neil yeah. Phil's where he's doing hurt us down the toms and stuff octopods exactly yeah. oh, someone someone in the dremio chat blast it blast it <laughs> i'll yeah. try uh, we'll see i can't kind of blast it but i'll try to blast <laughs> it in the metal one i Maybe think a, that falls into a, this category a mini blast perhaps yeah. yeah um all right let's do it this is metal style from jp oh, gosh. good luck
give us everything there. I, yes. I can't. I officially cannot play blast beats, and especially at that tempo. But you, you didn't. You didn't do that at all for not a blast drummer. And even your your symbols aren't like metal. Symbols. Did you Did you start the Big this? Apple Jazz Ride? Isn't a metal symbol? Well. Not, not then. <laughs> that these days, because they would have been all manhole covers then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, did you start that blast this way and then go this way? Yeah, honestly, I'm like, so I literally don't know what I'm doing. I literally, and I was like, it's not fast enough. So I was trying to go. But that does not fall into the category of things I have practiced. So <laughs> that's what makes it the best. <laughs> there was a great comment. Someone said it's like Prague, only less chops. <laughs> Except really. for the end, the end, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. chopped on hard. <laughs> that comment came in before we got to that, I will say. There she is a brutal wheel and she will not forgive. She so will no. not. <laughs> uh, and the, the, the YouTube chat, everyone wants to hear you play it like Dave Weckl. That's a pretty tough... Uh, oh, dude, that, I would love to do, specific. I would actually love to do my Dave Weckl. It's not an impression, but Dave was a big influence on me. Okay, Let's we... have it land on Jazz Fusion. <laughs> I wonder if it could do that. <laughs> Where is Jazz Fusion? Oh, you pat. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just it's just spinning at random. Keep going. Oh, whoa. Yeah. oh no way. Jazz Fusion. Wow. The wheel doesn't lie. So in the style of Dave Weckl, specifically from his drummer plus one era. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's here's we'll do the, my Jazz Fusion influences were the big cats, and they all have such specific imprints stylistically in my mind. I'll try to uh, do what I think of when I think of Dave Great. Weckl. Uh, I and then I'll the think of Dennis I love this, on a groove yeah. over here. Okay. And then I'll, I mean, I imitating Vinny is not worth trying to do, but you'll, you'll hear you'll what hear I'm trying to do. Okay, and and is number okay. two? Wow, yeah. this is going to be a jam packed treat, everybody. This is good. This, <laughs> this is good. a tour through jazz fusion history. <laughs> well, that's not hype it up too much. <laughs> we, we got, this uh, is the impression right. these guys left right. on me that's in right. my learning process. Yeah, this that's is, all it's all about, man. That's all about. <laughs> this will be Dave, Dennis, and Vinny. Uh, Done the, badly. The, the new trio. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Check it out. As soon as you did the, the Vinnyism, I could just picture the smoke hanging out of yeah, his mouth. I know, right? I know. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think I executed it well, but Dave, what, oh, he was a he was like my first big not rock influence. Me too, man. Yeah. And I always yeah. think of his filling going ah, mm -hmm. like it breathes. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to. Right, yeah. perfect. That's the thing perfect. you did there, though. That I think is really the other kind of the 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 Weckl-ism, and I'm sure you've seen him probably in person yeah. a couple of times. He never ever loses control of what he's playing. Yeah, so and he's calm. always like he's always playing at like that dynamic level. So all the yeah. notes are really where they need to be. Right. And it's like as soon as you start doing like, oh yeah, like you're playing like half the volume you were before. <laughs> totally. It's like here they go. Mm. Yeah. Just like water, right? And then Dennis hits harder, and yeah. I have like for me the album front page, it's like him and it's a trio album. And it's uh, it's so these types of grooves, you know, just like. Right, and I, I wanted to put this in because from that album too, like, it's very specific, like yeah. doubles. Uh, 
just I always think of when I think of that. I love Amazing. it because you're getting insight from how you get inspiration from those cats. Because I mean, right. let's be honest, everyone is influenced by other drummers. Yeah, yeah, and I never yeah. did any transcribing in my life. I never had a teacher that asked to transcribe, but I was always really interested in like the effect that uh, drummers were having. Right, mm -hmm. so Dave doing ah oh, 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 with the dynamics. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, okay, let me imitate that dynamic flow with the material that I can use. I don't actually know what patterns he's using. Maybe there's some overlap. Um, but yeah, and then like with Vinny, like mm -hmm. when I'm trying to... And then over on the thing I was doing on the China, with Vinny I think of like these, like, not quite polyrhythms, but just like long phrases that they, they almost feel like they're about to detach from the time. Mm -hmm. yep. You have moments mm -hmm. where you're like, I need to count for a sec. Okay, we're back. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Or he can really mess with you. He he's never, just on such a high level. He's never telling you how long that phrase is going to be. It could be half a bar. Totally. It could, could be 20 minutes. Over multiple bars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Well, that was fantastic. That was amazing. And thank you for playing along with that. You did a killer oh, job. <laughs> uh, do we want to do that, that bonus round now? You want to do it later? You have time, so. <sighs> Let's do it now. Okay. We're going to do a bonus uh, round. I'm going to pick a song. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a song everyone knows. And um, I want you just to run through different, as many different styles as you can. Great. So it's not like this. I mean, it, it's not a Kaz track. Um, I'm going to go with a Chili Peppers tune because we oh, just okay. had, we just did the Genius of Chad Smith. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is I don't, which he, my first favorite band. Still my favorite band. So yeah, you're, you're a Chili Peppers fan. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do one of the classics, Under the Bridge. There you go. Because it's got a lot never of space. Never heard of it. Yeah, I've yeah, <laughs> never heard of it. My, my buddy yeah. never heard of it. I'm a huge Chili Peppers fan. Yeah. Just not that song. Just yeah, not yeah. That. I've heard everyone but that. <laughs> uh, but I like this song because it's got a lot of space um, and there's yeah. a lot of opportunity. So play as long as you want. Don't have to stop any anytime. When, when you feel like you've run through your gamut of kind of inspiration. And in the chat, see if you can post the style he's kind of aiming for. Like or the that. drummer, maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to switch between them um, without stopping. I'll try to make them obvious. Okay. Sure, sure. Awesome. Okay. You got the song, uh, d uh, Under the Bridge, Chili Peppers? Yeah, that's perfect. Sure. And then no no drums if we can, because we'll use the yeah. drum you version without any drums. Beautiful. I drive on the streets, girls.
Uh, standing ovation, sir. Yeah, right no on. Doubt. There's no click, so you know I can't hear what the hell's going I, on there. I don't the think end, there, but... was, there may not have been a click in that song originally, to be honest. Hell yeah, Dude. that was amazing. Well done. Right well on. Done. And right every time on. the jazzy chord, you're like, oh yeah, it's got to swing that. Oh yeah, you got to come back to it, you know. <laughs> There was probably, there's some great comments in the chat. One's like, someone get me a mojito. And then someone said, oh, this turned into a drum festival. <laughs> this turned into a drum festival. There's nothing wrong with that. There's all nothing the, wrong all with the drummers that. in one. Yeah, Never. No doubt. Well, thank you We so got much. reggae in. We did yeah. get reggae in. We, we got Western. Jazz. Western. Yeah. You started with some, yeah, It's like old timey almost. Yeah. 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 And then uh, I was trying to do some Jimmy, like Mitch Mitchell, Jimmy Hendrix kind mm-hmm. of classic rock with the fills in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, well, then you went to some uh, extreme double bass towards the end there. Right. You're trying to <laughs> so, do some disco and dance had, stuff. Disco? He had punk rock in there. Oh, we very much so. Yeah. You, got, you snuck punk in, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper, Cooper Huntsman in the YouTube chat says, Sounds awkward. I think it is because I know how it should sound. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm yeah. with you 100%. But that's see, that's called that's, butchering the song. <laughs> no, no, no. But see, that's the thing. That's what drumming can do to a song, yeah. whether you, you know, good or bad. But yeah. I mean, there's some stuff in there that I mean, I'm sure, like, I, it's possible Chad tried three or four of those ideas at one point. You know, where right. does this go? He talked about that when they did, um, was it Californication? was reggae originally. Really? Yeah, right? right. Yeah. He played the demo and he's like, ah, oh, it sounds awful because you, you think of it now. Yeah, right? yeah. But it's like, you got to start somewhere and sometimes those ideas change. Totally, yeah. And just to get yourself out of your comfort zone, everyone has really deeply ingrained habits. And it might not, not even be your habits you need to bring, it might be your bandmates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if Good you point. come in with a yeah. totally different thing, it might inspire your bandmates to do something different, and then you can secretly revert back to your normal stuff. Yeah. And yeah. they will have changed what they're doing. Brilliant. <laughs> totally. And the nice thing about playing with bandmates is they should change when you change, whereas a, a track like that, it's just steady Eddie. Right. Cool. Mm. So yeah. you can throw a swing in there, but if they're rocking straight eight notes, they exactly. might clash a bit, but... <laughs> Well, All right. Well, now it's time to play a little game. We didn't just play a little game. This is this another whole game. Thing. This whole actually, actually a game. That game had no stakes other than your own personal credibility. Okay. This game <laughs> other than actually has a prize. Oh, wow. So you're using today, you're rocking a set of our Drumio eardrums, I noticed. Mm-hmm. We're going to give away a set of those if JP can answer 20, sec- 20 questions in 60 seconds. That's right, everybody. It's time for Blast Beats. Boom. Oh, yeah. Do I have to answer them correctly? Yes. They're the kind of questions <laughs> that there's really no wrong answers okay. to. Okay. They're your own answers. So just um, someone else's prize is some on the line here. That's right. Some calculus. Some if you get right. this right, we're going to give away a set of those in ears to someone on the, on the YouTube page. 14th so. president of the United States. 14th <laughs> president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, what's better, Minnesota or South Dakota? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going to bring up the, uh, the fancy clock here in a second. There she is. Wow, that's fancy. And uh, you ready to go? Okay, here we go. Do you want to tell him to take, do you want to tell him to take one of his ears yeah, out? Yeah, it's, it's, you can take your ears out, what? too. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah. just, uh, yeah. Take an yeah, ear out. We're good, out. we're good. Right. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So, three, two, one, and go. Nylon or wood tip sticks? Wood tip. Favorite place on the planet? New York. Heel up or heel down? Heel up. Uh, what music are you listening to right now? Jazz. Coated or clear drum heads? Coated. Artist you want to work with? Uh, 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 Abishai Cohen. Oh. Symbols, clean or dirty? Dirty. Golf or tennis? Tennis. Do you prefer chain, strap, or direct drive? Chain. TV or movies? Neither. How many snare drums are too many? Three. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) White wine or red wine? Red. Single or double pedal? Single. Fly or drive? Drive. Are concert toms still cool? Yes. Suit or t-shirt? Suit. Lacquer or wrapped drums? Lacquer. Steak or seafood? Steak. Vinyl or streaming? S- vinyl. Yeah, I get oh. But I stream all the time. There Come you on. go. <laughs> Five seconds. And also, Brandon or Dave? <laughs> wow. Both of you. I oh. love you both. <laughs> no, cop Is that a pass? Answer. I don't know. Brandon's back there too. He's on the edge of his seat. He knew that question was coming. He's always just hey, in case. Hey, but I got a follow up. Um, a follow up? Did I do it? Yeah. You did it. Okay, yeah, congratulations. We're going to give away this. Uh, in TV or movies, you said neither. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like books? Uh, I just don't watch a lot of TV. And it's no? not even a, uh, you know, it's not a strong stance. For some reason, I just don't want to watch TV. Interesting. It's weird. It's, I've never. Have you ever watched Breaking Bad? 
No. Well, then that's why. Well, there you go. Well, that's, that's why. why. That's I need great. to be converted. That's you need to be test. converted. Here I am, clicking through channels, not knowing what nope. to watch. Tomorrow, nope. Brandon and you are filming a bunch of stuff for that Drum explains Mule. But why instead, he, we're watching Breaking Bad. That explains why he's here as the expert on improvisation and drumming. That's why he's so good. It's he's I think I know what he's been doing. <laughs> Not watching Not TV. Not watching TV. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. All right, we're going to give a set of these in-ears away. The Drumio eardrums to Mars, M-A-R-Z, on the YouTube stream. Cool. Go ahead and email me at krad at drumio.com with your mailing address. We're going to send you a set of those awesome in-ears. They're a triple driver. They come with a cable and little case and then a whole bunch of other little goodies. Uh, congratulations to Mars. Yeah. Mars, they sound good. Yeah. Good, yeah, I, yeah. I love them. We use them all the time. Great. Um, and if you guys want your own set, just go to drumyo.com. We sell them in our shop. We sure do. We sure they were do. just on sale, but they're still worth. They're worth the money at twice the price. Yeah, they really four are. Four times the price. Four times the price. They're worth. <laughs> there is no price. There is, there is no, no price. They're invaluable. Oh, yes. <laughs> How much do they cost? Does it matter? <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, of course. Thank you for that. You nailed that, man. You were. Yeah. We had time to spare. That right is on. true. Yeah. And red wine. Okay. We're learning lots about you, JP. All right. Up go. next, it is time to check out a drummer in the world playing an unworldly groove. It's time for a groove of the week. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, that one's slow. Yeah. Yep. That one was slow. Yeah. Well, wow. Yeah. Awkward. All right. Awkward. Anyway. <laughs> Don't set us up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> It's more fun when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this actually, someone messaged me and said, check this clip out. And in the clip it says, it was another artist saying, who is this? So it was a bunch of folks. It's how Instagram and social media works. Because he's like, I just want to know who this is. This is such a great drummer. So I followed down the rabbit hole. And of course, someone knew who it was. And we found it. So this is a drummer. On Instagram, they go by J uh, underscore Callow, K-A-L-O underscore. Do you know this person? Mm. Check out this clip. This guy is funky. Okay. Hmm. That is so yes, stanky. Yes, That's sir. dirty, man. I mean, oh. it just keeps, it's sure. like he's, he's in it and he's like, no, no, no more, yeah. more. Just uh, keeps moving it. Oh my goodness. Give that guy some love. What was his name again? Oh my again? goodness. Jay Callow. So it's at J underscore K-A-L-O underscore. That's beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful the way he moved. Uh, uh, he, can he start putting in like kind of off beats, you yeah. know? Yeah. And it was like, just in the beginning, it was just like, just one. Yeah. yeah, and then just more and more and more until it was like, mm, but his left foot's getting friggin' time the whole time. And he yeah. had like five or five different zones on that cab. He was getting <laughs> yeah. so many different sounds <laughs> yeah. from it. JP, that's my favorite section of the drum department is because we we get to see drummers that don't normally get to be seen. Yeah, and I'm like, into that. Totally, and I've seen some pretty cool. That was one of my favorites. Isn't it crazy? Wow. Yeah, and it was wow. great. It's like wow. someone they, they'd seen the clip and they weren't sure who the drummer was, and then it sort of the internet sort of went and did its thing. That's yeah. one of the beautiful things about the internet. Right, it can mm -hmm. be used in good ways and bad ways. The cream will rise to the top. <laughs> yes, the Jay Callow rise will to raise top. to the top. My goodness, that is the stinkiest minute of drumming I've seen in a long time, <laughs> and I mean that yeah, in yeah. the best way possible. Like you said, he's like, and when he's when he's hitting the downbeats, it's like he's gonna just beat yeah. the crap out of the downbeat. He's like, in case you're wondering where it is yeah. smack technically impressive and musically really yeah it's like Vinny you know yeah, he, yeah. Vinny will, will just pull the string he's like oh you want to where one is yeah mm. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll just be like mm -mm. <laughs> okay so that is the drummer that is an unknown drummer now it's time to celebrate some of the drummers inside the Drumio community in our members area it's time to talk about our student of the week mm. yeah <laughs> 
Ooh, I'll so give that a seven out of ten. That was that wasn't bad. Pretty close. And it had the audio to it too. It did. It did. Like a little horn. So we have to catch up a little bit. We were away for a couple of weeks. Right. So we have three students of the week. So Studi again, I guess. Uh, Super Rad, Maka, and Kaz in that order are three awesome Drumeo students. Super Rad, I have no video to show. So I made a quick super cut of Maka and Kaz. Uh, Maka playing an awesome tune, and Kaz is the drummer in the second video. Uh, you'll see there's several. It's it's like a, like like a collaborative band, like like a there's a bunch of guitar players and a whole bunch of drummers and stuff. Mm. But th Kaz is the most prominent drummer in this in this. Just want to celebrate our awesome students, all the hard work they do every week. We have a student of the week. We're going to show them now, okay. and uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Here we go. Awesome. Great stuff. Maka playing that killer Chili Peppers tune. Funny thing, Chili Peppers being a common thread today. It seems to be, hey? But he was so into it, yeah. just loving it. And Kaz, we all know how hard it is to wrangle playing in a band with a guitar player, playing with 12 <laughs> Jeez, guitar yeah. players. How'd you do it? Awesome. How'd you do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's a fun tune. It's like all those chord changes. You can see everyone's going like, oh, look, it's just fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I love seeing, you know, new musicians making music because there's like that's when it becomes magic when you finally play that first song with a bunch of folks and you're like oh now i get this this yeah. is amazing mm -hmm. so much we're fun we're doing it mm -hmm. yeah so congratulations again to our students of the week over the past 3 weeks super rad maka and kaz if you want to be student of the week one day here at drumio well you got to be a member if you want to see what it's like behind the curtain of drumio if you will all you got to do is come over and check out our free 7 day trial all you got to do is go to this link here. There it is. Free seven-day trial, there which is, is drumio.com slash trial. Yes? Yes. I got it wrong last time. got it wrong last time. Yes. I don't even think we put a redirect up, so. There you go. So. Yes. <laughs> drumio.com <laughs> slash trial. And you'll be uh, given a seven-day access. Yes. You can come check out all the cool stuff. You'll see all kinds of cool stuff from JP. Yeah. You'll see 5,000 songs with and without drums, just like what JP played you earlier. And the first time we had you out, you had your band here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think that performance is on YouTube as well, too. So At least some of it. Some of it. Check out Childish Japes, Drumio with JP. Um, it, was an, it was an awesome time. Yeah, yeah, we talked about making, a, essentially, like, becoming a more creative jam partner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Connecting with the bass player a little yeah. bit, and we utilize your band for that. And you did a couple songs like Off the Floor, which is pretty cool. So, if you haven't already watched that, make sure you go search that as well, too. So, cool. Okay, before we move on, I have to know what is a childish jape? Oh, I think I you asked know? you this. Yeah. Or is it one of those did things you that you just know? no answer? No, I don't know. I ask you the same question. Oh, yeah, no. Like, a, jape, is... a jape is an old Shakespearean era term for a joke. Okay. And the reason we call it, well, it was, it was a happy coincidence that. Some people call me Japes or Jeeps or JP or Got whatever. It. There's a lot of oh, I see. Substitute the vowel, but the ten second explanation of why we, uh, I you know, I advocated naming it that is it was at a point in my life where I was like playing music, but none of it was like my shit. Uh -huh. So like I didn't have a place where I could really like do my creative expression, and I was practicing the drums. I was like, mm -hmm. why am I getting trying to get so good at the drums? I don't have anywhere to put it. And I wanted to start a band that was just kind of a sandbox and that kept that childish uh, uh, oh. uh, exploratory energy alive. 
So like I said, the band's a sandbox, which is why we veer violently between genres. We just do whatever we want to do. And if, if people are along for the ride, we're really happy that they're there. Uh, but it's a, it's a little bit uh, for us at the end of the day. Because as you become cool. a you know yeah. as you become a professional musician, there's you end up doing a lot of jobs. Mm-hmm. Man, that was a much more rational answer than I was hoping for. Yeah, yeah. That's a great answer. <laughs> what a great. It was reason. honestly a quarter life crisis <laughs> <laughs> that led to the band name. <laughs> quarter life crisis. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's fantastic. And I like, I like what you just say. Veer violently. violently yeah, yeah. We do. We do. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this show is we get to talk about gear. Yeah. So it's time to talk about new gear, everybody. Gear up. Well, it's not gear, it's just called new gear. I don't okay. know why I called it that. Yeah. Feeling a little weird about that one, I guess. Too many of the weeks. Of the week. Too the many week. weeks. Yes, yeah. that's right. It's Today we're going to talk about Tekra drumsticks. Ooh. Now these, oh, these bad boys are made of carbon fiber. So they last longer in theory, then are hickory and maple drumsticks. You, I'm going to say, are probably a hickory guy. Yeah, I'm rocking the Peter Erskins here. Those are great They're hickory, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, Tekra sent us some stuff to check out. So, now, carbon fiber is, of course, a very strong and light material. But one of the things with drumsticks is they have to feel similar, like, we're, we're purists, right? We mm-hmm. like what we like, and we yeah. we have a hard time adapting to other things. So the folks at Tekra realized carbon fiber makes a great drumstick, but they do act a little bit different than a hickory stick. So they've done a couple of things to make them feel more like a standard drumstick. There's an anti-shock rubber insert in the back of this drumstick. Uh, and the, the different series of sticks they make, this one we're going to look at first is the X-Carb, which sounds like a diet. Mm-hmm. But there's these, there's the, the Colossus X-carb here, diet. and then there's also the Black Diamond. I'm assuming these are the, uh, you know, named after... Whistler. Kiss, maybe? Yeah. Or skiing. skiing yeah. is what I, I never got of. past the, the blue square. Neither did I, right. Matt. I bunny, stuck on the green circle. So, um... <laughs> JP's been kind enough. He's going to give these a quick spin for us. So this is the X carb. These are lighter carbon sticks, so they're 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 not the heaviest one they make. And the pattern of the carbon fiber is in a different direction. All right. Um, now, just in case you're wondering, these are these ones sell for about twenty four bucks a pair US, which is not crazy. It's okay. about two pairs of drumsticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they say these ones will last three to four times longer than a hickory drumstick. And are these mm. like the ahead ones where you can like replace the no. tip? No. So these are just one and done. This is one and done. I guess yeah. the price that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Give him a go. All right. Give him a go. See if it was Jerry. Well, we have to take the ears out because we have to really hear. You know. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's, there's the you feel and there's the sound. Yeah. Right? yeah. Good All right. No, I'm just Though. Oh. I don't know if it'll come through on the in, through the mics, but oh. all right. Sure. What what do you want? First impressions? Yeah, sure. First impressions. If I'm gonna bash the crap out of my drums, these feel great. Yeah. And if I'm bashing the crap out of my drums. I'm probably breaking more sticks. Mm-hmm. So, sure, could be a good idea. I don't know what it does for the longevity of the cymbals, but if, on the other hand, I care about stick definition on my rides, which I do very much, that's the most important single thing for me, I'm not going to pass, not gonna pass gonna the pass test. Pass. And that's, you know what, that's a fair point, because you're playing also a very small tip drum stick. A, right. The Peter Air skin is designed to be played. It's literally with, called the ride stick. Yeah. It's delicate. Right? Yeah. It's designed great, to be played. Here's a great question from the chat. Says, yeah. Will they leave black marks on the cymbals? I remember. It's like I don't see question. any. Do we it's, see any on the heads at all? <laughs> you were hitting pretty hard, so. I don't see any marks. Okay. Can't, can't make any promises. They feel a little front heavy to me. Yeah. Like Try the it. bounce, especially on the okay. on the cymbals, the bounce so those, it doesn't bounce. Of the three they sent us, those are the lightest ones. I want okay. to try these ones next. These are the Colossus. So these are heavier. These are five Bs. These are they? designed to less. These are all five Bs. All five. Bs. Yeah. So they're different weights and types of layup for carbon fiber. So these are the Colossus. These are about twenty six bucks US. These are to last six to eight times as long as they. Oh wow! Stick. So they're just okay. But I would say they're probably a little bit more. Drumstick, <laughs> a little more lumber. 
Okay, honest opinion. Kind of same review. They make playing hard really easy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, like, you know, my hands feel totally comfortable bashing the drums and the cymbals. But they really feel kind of plasticky when you actually tap the cymbals. Well, the one thing I noticed when I played, not those ones, but the ahead ones, is that it didn't have that like little bit of flex that wood has. Exactly. It just feel, That's exactly it. That's why yeah. it feels plasticky. Because when you, you, you feel like it doesn't feel like a drumstick yeah. mm. in that moment. But yeah. over here, you know, it feels nice and smooth. Okay. If that's what you're into. That's a great review. Yeah, and I will say, <laughs> yeah. I think we, and the way you started that off, I think really answers all the questions. Because if you are looking for a product like this to outlast Hickory, it's because you're breaking a lot of drumsticks. If you don't break drumsticks, why would you look for something to last longer? Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are sort of the pros and cons. Hmm. I would I would agree with you completely. These to me sound and feel like nylon tip sticks, which I just don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't like the bright overtones it brings out of cymbals. I don't like I can't I can't lay into a cymbal the same way. Um, but that's because I preferred something that's a little bit more dynamic. Mm -hmm. I don't break a ton of drumsticks, but for a lot of folks out there that do, these would be a sure. great choice. Like I've played the East in the Head sticks. There's a huge compromise and feel for the durability with those, I find. These, I think, are pretty close. And if they last as long as they say they do, certainly well worth the money. Well, well worth the money. So mm -hmm. uh, if you want to check them out, they're available at tekra-drumsticks.com. Go check them out. Cool. We're going to give these ones away to one of our we members? We sure are. Are we going to give all three to one person? Because it's kind of like, you know, it's a bundle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to justify it live. I'm like, all right, let's get. What do you want to do? Uh, let's give all three to one because they're, they're all three different sizes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. then yeah. they can. That was pick that's what I fame, thought. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna pick it random today. Uh, I'm gonna go with Dizza. Dizza, Dizza, and the members there. Congratulations. Oh. You have won this beautiful bouquet of Tekra drumsticks. Yes. Uh, email me at krad at drumio.com with your mailing address. We will mail these exact sticks played by JP. Mr. Japes himself. <laughs> we'll get this out to you. That's another perk of being a member. I'm going to start using Jape instead of joke in front of my wife and see if yes. she's... Yeah. Oh, it was just a Jape. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, <laughs> you're going to find... around. You're going to find... Like, if you, no, no. Say it to Issa, oh, who's a yeah. huge Shakespeare fan. Oh, He'll just right. be like... Say that it's heinous Japery. <laughs> heinous Japery! <laughs> oh Perfect! Goodness. I think oh, I, that's I, perfect. I was arrested for heinous japery once. Yeah, that'll get <laughs> that'll get you caught. That'll get, that'll you, get caught. you caught. <laughs> yep. But, oh man, JP, uh, thanks so much. Yeah, oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. All so your fun. plans. It's absolutely amazing. For participating with a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, Kyle. Sure. Can we uh <laughs> are, we, are we having a little contract? Excuse yeah. us for a moment. Play play. Play. Hey, me. I want him to play us out with one more wheel spin. Sure. Yeah. Uh, can I give away a prize? <laughs> yeah, to, let's uh, do that. We're going to give away a one year's membership to someone on YouTube. Okay. And today I'm going to give it to Joe Owen. Joe Owen. Otherwise, no, yes. Thank you. I was just Joe, Owen. Joe Owen. Otherwise known as Joe Owen. Uh, email me at kradrumio.com. We'll get you set up with a one year Drumio membership just for hanging out with us. He just, In fact, he was the Weckle guy. He also said oh, K, nice. K Rad is the most American thing I've ever heard. That's funny because I'm in no way American. Nope. I did live in the US for a year. But Rubbed so. off, man. Does a little bit, yeah. I did. <laughs> Rubbed but, off. To be fair, though, I did say Zed earlier, which is extremely good. I noticed, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is, right? Okay, okay I'm going to spin the wheel. I haven't wheel. apologized yet, though, so sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, spin the wheel, and we're going to leave you all with this. For those of you in the members area, we're going to come right back. JP's going to answer some of your questions. Uh, what, do you think? what do we got? What do we got? Oh, JP chooses. Oh, no, too boring. Okay, okay, too okay, boring. I'll, I'll spin it again. <laughs> oh, something just came off the wheel. Country! There we go. Right. Country. country. We'll do some old and All right, guys, cue up the track. We're going to see you all again soon. Like I say, members will be right back, but... Uh, Let's have Japes regale us with some fine country music. <laughs>